We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Miami Marlins. The pitching should be a story in this one. First pitch is coming up. Digging in now, Gerald Hayden. First the chance for him here in the top of the first Gerald with nobody on. Hayden. And the pitch. Get up! Get up! Get out of here! Gone! Solo shot to right center. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that, and they take the lead. Digging in, Jesus Sanchez. And the Marlins looking for more the in the game's field. opening frame. Sanchez. Hits on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Marlins forced to settle for one. On now to the top half of inning number two. All tied at one and one. Stepping up to the plate, Gerald Hayden. He went base. deep in his first at bat. Gerald. We'll see what he's got in store Hayden. for us here. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this All time and mix in some off speed pitches. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Hey, get your pitch. Let's go. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. one ball, he was strikes, able to count. scramble out a little bit and give him another chance, and hopefully, this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. The 1 2. And he fouls this one off. Lined hard toward right center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Stand up, stand up, stand up. And he's two for two as he's in there with a double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. Now in the box, Oswaldo now Salgado right comes here. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Salgado. Slow little grounder left side. Fielded on, cleanly, right oh. and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Standing in, Ryan Jorgensen. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. Stepping into the box, Harvey Blunt. Harvey Hayden at third with two away. Here we go. A bouncer to the left side, reined in. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Boston's out in front, two to one.
Gerald Hayden will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Hey, let it rip right here. Now the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Every hey, game the nice pitcher hit. gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock of the game, and he has been on fire lately. At the plate, Oswaldo Salgado. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Hey, get a good one. Hey, have a rip like Now the 2 1. Runners on the move for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. Yep, he's not going to get him as he swipes second. Good steal there. And I'll tell you, he is a multi dimensional player out there. He's got good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, hey, no, he did go Let's deep go earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. This one's down to third. Throw gets him, two down. In now, Ryan Jorgensen. He is 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ryan Jorgensen. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. He's going. Runner goes for third. Pitch is high. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One left for the Red Sox. They lead it two to one. Right here. Riding in for Boston, Gerald Hayden. He singled his last Gerald. time up. Hayden. There we go, kid. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. A ball that's carrying. And that one is gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center. And just like that, this ball game is all tied. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. We are into extra innings, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Gerald Hayden. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Let's fly. Let's go right here. Here comes the first pitch. Hard liner get towards up, short. Up, and this is going to get down for ball, what should be ball. extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Oh. 
So digging in now is Waldo now Salgado. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Now at the plate, Ryan Jorgensen, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Now the 0-2 pitch. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. That gets down as one run is in. Boy, we thought this one was going to go way into the night. That is a big base hit here in extra innings to give them the lead by two. Yeah, Dan, you know as well as I do. It gets to the extra innings. Everybody tries to go deep and end it with one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, no Henry no Mateo. He's Second one for thing. four for the game. Henry Mateo. Surprise one, here one. as he's going to try to lay one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Hey, it took him an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. The Bo Sox secure their 10th victory of the season. Ramon Estrella claims the win out of the pen his first. Johnny Rubio closes the door for the save his sixth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.